Hey, yo, it's Jake Fee with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review, and thanks for tuning in. Now, today on the docket, man, I got the Uncle Nearest Black Owned Distillery. You know about Fun Weaver. You know about all that, but I'm excited to bring you this. Now, I got two different flavors of uh their whiskey, and I got the Uncle Nearest Rye, which uh is something we're going to get into a little later, and I got the Uncle Nearest Single Barrel Man, you can call me single barrel Jake now, boy, because I like me some single barrel whiskey. It's so good. But this one right here is potent. Now, it come in at a proof of 26.05, which is 63% alcohol by volume. It's out of barrel number 10. So shout out to the perfect barrel, the perfect 10. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I got, though. So without further ado, we know Uncle Nears product, um, if you want to hear some history about it, man, check one of these things that's popping up out. We can go ahead and pull that out and uh, go ahead and learn some history about it. But we're going to get into this review, man. We're going to keep the dream. <laughs> Let's keep it going. So I'm going to do one ounce over ice, and I'm going to do one ounce in the Glen Karen just to get y'all straight up how it tastes. I've been waiting to taste this. I just got it uh, a few days ago. Glad to drop this video for y'all. So here we go. Oh man, it's harder to open than what I thought. Tighten up now. All right, all right. I got, I got it. I got it open. I got it open. Woo. Oh, I love to hear that sound. Hmm. Smell kind of potent. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over ice first, so I can sit there. You know, I just, I just uh, hand measure the uh, ounce. <laughs> yes sir now shout out to Uncle Nears man I, I, I like their brand I like how they treat the quality of their product so this is one that I gotta test out now let's see if we got any notes and stuff that it says posted. It, uh, the single barrel has a different it is different it has the most distinct flavor profile of any of our whiskeys and was bottled at a barrel strength to capture every uh, nuance of one of a kind spirit. It's triple distilled fil filtration process, perfect in every sip, aged and bottled in Middle Tennessee, home of the premier master distiller and teacher, Uncle Nears. So that's a lot of gas. <laughs> that is a lot of gas they put on that one there, but it smells gassy though. I mean, it smells good. I don't get any alcohol aromas, but looking forward to this. This little sip. Let me go ahead and give it. Let me go ahead and give it to y'all. Let's tell y'all how it tastes. Flavorful to the taste to the tongue. Smooth on the swallow. My gut is feeling that sixty two percent. Just just warming my gut up right now. It ain't a. It ain't a. A bad feeling, but it do got some heat to it. So if y'all high proof people, y'all like this. Yeah, y'all like this. Man, I, I enjoy this. I thoroughly enjoy this though. Yeah, I think um I'm not really a super high proof person. I'm just not getting used to it. But this is one that I like. Um I'm gonna compare it to the single barrel jack. It's 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 a drinkable high proof, but I'd rather have my high proof in some ice like this. Now, this is the newly minted, I'm not sober, Jake Fever, yes, sir, glass. If y'all can see all that on them. Now, this is a personal glass just for me, not anybody else. I'm not selling these or nothing, but just wanting to show off a little bit. Now that I got my ice in here, let's give it a taste. That ice opened, opens up that flavor. Being that as a single barrel, man, I don't know if I'm going to get all the same taste every time I get another bottle. I do have another bottle around here somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, this barrel number 10 too. So I know I'm going to at least get the same flavor out of uh, both of these. And I'll, I'll go through these uh, over a couple of years. So, because I got so many different bottles. But let's go ahead and get into the um, the scoring of this. 
I've rearranged my bourbon and whiskey scoring because normally I was just tasting it and giving it a score. But I have to consider a lot of different things now. I understand about single barrel. I understand about barrel proof uh, bottling. I understand about high rye, weeded, and things like that now. So I'm comparing it on those type of levels. And this is, uh, I'm going to give it like a four out of five for the single barrel barrel proof taste. The flavor profile is delicious, man. That's That's what I like about it. But it got some heat. It got some heat to the gut. I mean, it stick, it sticks to your gut with that heat. So I like mine with uh, a Cuba ice. And that's delicious enough for me. That's how I'll take it. It can sneak into some Coca-Cola or some some uh, lemonade or something really, really well and still be really potent. So if you're going to get this, be careful with this bottle because it's a high proof. So that's it for Jake Fever. Check me out, man. Go support jfever.com. You know Martin Luther King Day coming up. Yes, sir.